now we're recording. So uh, I'm gonna record it, put it on YouTube later. So if you missed it or you wanna try the dances again, you can go to my YouTube account, which is East Coast Phys Ed and find the videos there. Um, as well, shoot me a tweet. It's a little bit blurry, a few people have said. It's Miss Hudson PE. Uh, Instagram is East Coast Phys Ed. And then of course my email, Teresa.Hudson at hrce.ca. So let me know if you joined in, send me a video or a picture if you want to. If you don't want to, no worries, just hope you're dancing. First thing we're gonna do today is called the Cupid Shuffle. It is a very easy dance and I can guarantee you that all of you, parents included, you will know how to do this dance by the end of us learning it. So first things first, let's get the song on. All right, so we have the Cupid Shuffle. Hopefully you can hear it. Pretty familiar song. You guys have probably heard it before. The first step is going to be four steps to your right. So I don't know if this is mirroring me or not, so I'm just going to go to my right. You guys go to your right. We'll all figure it out. So four steps to the right. It's going to go one, two, three, four. Pretty easy, right? Okay, so that's the first part. So four steps to the right, ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Next part, we're going to the left. One, two, three, four. That is the beginning of the cubic shuffle. It's as easy as walking. You can move any way you want. You can make it fancy. You can put your arms out if you want. But all it is is four steps one way, four steps back. Okay, first part, do we want to try it with the music? I think so. I think I hear some people saying yes. All right. So we got to the beat. Ready? Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Easy. Easy peasy. Next part, are you ready? It's the kicking part. So you're going to kick out with one foot. Switch and kick with the other foot. And you're going to do it four times. So you can stand and kick pretty simple like that. You can add a hop to it if you want. Again, you can make it as hard as you want or as easy as you want. Four steps. Simple. Great. You want to add some hands in. Cool. You want to add some twists in. It's just four kicks. Okay? So four kicks. Any way you want to do your kicks, you do it your own way. I'll do it my own way. We'll be doing it together. Let's try it from the beginning. Four to the right, four to the left, four kicks. Ready? One, two, three, four. Step, 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 step. step. Kick. Easy? All right, let's try just that part with the music. Ready? done a country line dance before they will know that sometimes you end up going in a square you get moving in a different direction cubit shuffle same idea so after we do our kicks we are going to do four twisting steps that direction whichever way that is for you in your house okay then once we get there we repeat the entire thing again so we go forward to the right four to the left Kick four times, and then we twist, and then we're facing the back, and we do it again. Okay, so do you think you got the whole dance? Do you think you can do the whole thing? Okay, I can't hear you. Can't hear you guys. Dartmouth, are you guys listening? Okay, I heard a few. I heard a few people say, oh, I might have even heard William in Eastern Passage. William? That's my nephew. He's trying to learn it too. All right, are you ready? Let's try it. The whole dance, we're gonna do the whole thing. We're gonna do a full round, changing directions. We'll see how it goes. All right. We'll start from the beginning. So just dance, any way you want. Are you guys ready? Go this way. One, two, three, four. One, two, 
shuffle pretty easy isn't it I think that you could probably add in your own variations I've seen people do it with basketballs where they're dribbling I've seen people do it with soccer balls tennis balls oh I'm a little out of breath hope you guys are too um, I've seen people do it with their stuffies their favorite stuffy they dance with so keep that song in mind if you ever want a little dance party all right less talking more dancing we're gonna do a Zumba song now this is our last dance today Said it would be about 20 minute dance party. So I'm trying to get us right to about 120. Um, so last dance today is gonna be a song called Track a Tail. Now this song has pretty simple moves. I'm gonna show you the moves now without the music. Um, and they repeat over and over and over again. So these are the moves. All right. So first thing we need to do is called a Zumba. I don't really even know what it's called. It's like a, there's probably a name. But that's the first thing we're gonna do. So first thing is gonna be moving this way, right? We're moving back and forth. That's our Zumba. Our Zumba Z kind of looks like a Z. Okay, and then we have a roll. We gotta be able to do the roll. The other thing we gotta be able to do is track a tail. 
is step forward, step forward, jump back, jump back. I almost hit my head, that was close. All right, step forward, step forward, jump back, jump back, and a circle move. So these are, this is it. Three simple moves, okay? So we have our Z with the roll, punch, punch, jump, jump, and we have a circle. So take one of your legs, place it on the ground. Don't let it move, that's your pivot foot. If you play basketball, you know what that means. If you don't, that just means this is our foot. It's not gonna move from that spot. It might let us turn, but it's not gonna move. And we're gonna do a circle like this, all the way around to the beat, just like that. And if we're going the other way, be the other foot, pivot foot, circle, all the way around like that. Okay, those are the basic moves for trapezoid. This is a really simple Zumba dance. We have about five minutes left in our dance class today, so we're just gonna go for it. I will yell things out. You guys follow along. Try to keep up, and if you don't and you wanna try it again, I'm gonna put this recording on YouTube after, so you can feel free to practice it with other people in your family that you live with, that you're safe with, not other people that you haven't seen yet, <laughs> and uh, just for it to practice. So I'm gonna grab a swig of water right here. You guys, hopefully you're drinking your water. It's always good for you. Okay, are we ready? This is a good one. Okay, follow with me. Going like this. Ready? One, one. Okay, got that? Pretty easy, right? That's the first move. Second move, we'll add it in. So, first move in, ready? Roll. got it those are all the moves that's it they might go faster they might go slower um, I'll yell it out to you we're gonna do the whole song it is three minutes and 30 seconds so before we start check your pulse oh, mine is beating fast oh that's fast okay I'm a little bit sweaty a little bit out of breath we're gonna do three minutes and 32 seconds of dancing let's see if we, that stuff will all go up more sweaty faster pulse Hotter. Let's see if we can do it. The whole song, track a tail. You guys ready? Follow along with me. Thank <laughs> you. 
cardiovascular fitness. I love it. So if you join me today for today's dance session, I hope you had fun. Hope you learned two new dances. If you already knew them, I hope you got better at them. Um, and let me know. Shoot me an email, teresa.hudson at hrce.ca or tweet me, Miss Hudson PE, or Instagram me, East Coast Phys Ed. And on East Coast Phys Ed YouTube, I will share this video with the world so they can see my lovely kitchen dance moves. Ooh. All right, I hope you had a great day. It is International Dance Day. Don't let today be the only time you danced. Make sure you're dancing. Dancing always puts you in a good mood, even if you're not a dancer like me. I'm not a dancer. Puts you in a good mood, gets those endorphins going, gets your heart pumping. Hope you had a great day, you guys. And before I sign off, I know some of you are probably wondering, where is Tasia? One second. Here she is. She is not much of a dancer, so she was having a nap on the couch as per usual. Right, Tay? Yeah. All right. See you later, Dartmouth. I hope you had a great dance day. Maybe we'll do another live stream again sometime. Bye.